in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to pull apart your design and show how different parts attach to one another or how they fit to one another. So you can see here with this um, pencil sharpener we can actually see all the different components and how they fit together through the axes that the um, drawer has set up here. It's in a slight perspective view and it's helped with these construction lines pulling out the form. So if we have a quick look at these two objects, um, here is a block and I want to indicate that there might be a lid on it so that it's actually hollow and it has a lid that goes on top of it. So here I'm, I'm indicating the lid that sits on top using those corners to pull the form out and underneath there would be a ridge that lines up with the hole. Very basic and quick. Okay, here I've got an object, um, this has a hole in it and there's another form that, that will be pushed into it, okay, kind of like a plug. So I pull out these corners and then draw out the form with a gap in between. The, the key thing is to have a gap. So how do we do that with um, one of the activities that we do in level one? We were exploring the object that we've designed and looking at it in different views. Now if we go back to the object, we look at the forms that have been pulled out of the original shape and um, we're going to show what those original shapes look like, um, I mean what the parts that have been removed from it look like in relation to the original form. So I'm going to go back and draw an isometric view of the object, showing that I've got enough space here so I need to move it over a little bit here and that's fine that I've kind of changed my mind about that because I'm drawing very lightly and I can do so. I'm going to get my axis, pull out this bottom form here, so I can draw it out here with the gap. I'm going to indicate I know that this is a hole that goes all the way through, so I need to take this measurement and mark that out. I'm going to move this up so you guys can see it, I've been sketching off the page. And then this form here, I'm going to cut it up into two because they're two different depths. So one goes a third of the way back and another part goes only, goes back two thirds. And draw this one. Here, so we're kind of overlapping, so that edge is going to go down here. Then I'm going to pull this one all the way out so there is a gap. Oopsie. There's going to be a gap between it. It might overlap this other object, which is okay. Um, maybe I will pull it out further. And 
and I need to note how deep it's going to be. So these are the three shapes. I'll darken them in so you can see them. 